Hi, I'm Raina Gilbert Lowry. I serve as Senior Associate Athletics Director and Senior Women Administrator at Virginia Tech. And today I'm going to have some real talk with you about what it's like to be a working mom in a leadership role and trying to manage and balance it all during COVID-19. I'm bummed I couldn't be with you all in person at the Experience Conference, but look forward to connecting with you next year. So let's just get down to it, mom guilt. That feeling that many of us have of not being the best mom we can be. Well, I really feel like with COVID-19, my mom guilt is on steroids. And today I wanna to provide you with five tips to be able to manage being a mom, a working mom, balancing it all. And the first tip I have for you is really to set a schedule. And not just any schedule, really find one that works best for you and your work schedule as well as your family. During the first week of quarantine, I set a schedule, put it on the fridge, and and basically never looked at it again because my work schedule did not connect with the schedule of my kids, especially I have an eight-year-old who's in second grade and I'm trying to teach second grade to her right now. So really focusing on that schedule that's gonna work best for for your family. And if you're anything like me, you live and die by your Outlook calendar and really crave that routine and your kids crave that too. Um, another thing that's really important to think about, especially right now, is, is just your workload and your capacity. That's really changed for us, and I think it's important for us to, to understand that we're going to um, have a little bit um, slower and um, less productive um, time right now for us. So. Uh, tip number two is really focusing on quality over quantity. So making sure that you understand that you might have to look at your to-do list and cut it in half. And the important thing I think is to be able to, to communicate and be transparent with your supervisor, with your coworkers, and with your team and make sure that everyone understands um, kind of what you're going through and what your ability to um, complete your task is gonna be like during this time. The third tip I have for you is really to make time for yourself. I think this is most important. Mental health is extremely important now more than ever, and so it's really important to take care of yourselves. I know for me, during the first week of quarantine, um, I was really kind of getting antsy and stressed, and then I, in turn, was um, kind of stressing out my kids. So I got up early one morning and went for a walk, and then the next day I went for a run, and then I just kept that, that habit going. And if anyone knows me, you know I am not a morning person, but it's really what I needed to do to be able to have that time to clear my mind. So what can you do to make time for yourself and where can you find that in your day? Really think about that, whether it's you know having some time to read, just sitting in peace, doing yoga, exercising, getting outside, talking to friends, find that time and make that time for yourself because really it's important for you to be able to feel your best before you can um, take care of your family. Um, at your best level. The, le the next thing I would say, tip number four, is just do a check-in. So hopefully you're having constant communication with your team, whether that's weekly or daily. Um, we do um, Zoom calls every other day with my team, but really just checking in to make sure that they know that you think about them first and foremost as a person and how they're and check on and see how they're doing during this time and and let them know that you are there for them and support them during this challenging time. And the fifth tip I have for you is to give yourself some grace. So what does that look like? It really means that maybe the chores don't get done that day or maybe you didn't get to clear out your inbox or maybe you didn't get to um, get all your, your steps for your move goal that day. Uh, but it also means that you've got time again tomorrow to be able to check off a few more things from your to-do list and be better. And so I want to thank you all for your time today. Um, make sure to take some time to um, reflect and also appreciate the time we have with our families. I know we always wish we had more time to spend together. And so make sure we cherish that time now. And so take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks so much.